Hello, welcome back to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years or this is your first time to read it from Genesis to Revelation, I'm glad to have you with us. We're in our seventh month, more than halfway through. I'm proud of you for hanging in there. Now, let's jump into today's passage. This is day 192. Today, we are reading Amos 1 through 5. I'm reading from the World English Bible. Let's get started. The Book of Amos, chapters 1 through 5. The words of Amos, who was among the herdsmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake, he said, The Lord will roar from Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the pastures of the shepherds will mourn, and the top of Carmel will wither. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Damascus, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing instruments of iron. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, and it will devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad. I will break the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from the valley of Aven. To him who holds the scepter, from the house of Eden. And the people of Syria shall go into captivity to Kir, says the Lord. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Gaza, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they have carried away captive the whole community to deliver them up to Edom. And I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, and it will devour its palaces, I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod, and him who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines will perish, says the Lord. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Tyre, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they delivered up the whole community to Edom, and didn't remember the brotherly covenant. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyre, and it will devour its palaces. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Edom, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword, and cast off all pity, and his anger raged continually, and he kept his wrath for ever. But I will send a fire on Taman, and it will devour the palaces of Basra. The Lord says, For three transgressions of the children of Ammon, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they have ripped open the pregnant women of Gilead, that they may enlarge their border. But I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it will devour its palaces with a shouting in the day of battle, with a storm in the day of the whirlwind, and their king will go into captivity, he and his princes together, says the Lord. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Moab, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime, But I will send a fire on Moab, and it will devour the palaces of Kerioth. And Moab will die with tumult, with shouting, and with the sound of the trumpet. And I will cut off the judge from among them, and I will kill all its princes with him, says the Lord. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Judah, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment because they have rejected the Lord's law, and have not kept his statutes, and their lies have led them astray, after which their fathers walked. But I will send a fire on Judah, and it will devour the palaces of Jerusalem. The Lord says, For three transgressions of Israel, yes, for four, I will not turn away its punishment." because they have sold the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. 
They trample the heads of the poor into the dust of the earth and deny justice to the oppressed. A man and his father use the same maiden to profane my holy name. They lay themselves down beside every altar on clothes taken in pledge. In the house of their God, they drink the wine of those who have been fined. Yet I destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and he was strong as the oaks. Yet I destroyed his fruit from above and his roots from beneath. Also, I brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. I raised up some of your sons for prophets and some of your young men for Nazarites. Isn't this true, you children of Israel, says the Lord? But you gave the Nazarites wine to drink and commanded the prophets, saying, Don't prophesy. Behold, I will crush you in your place, as a cart crushes that is full of grain. Flight will perish from the swift. The strong won't strengthen his force. The mighty won't deliver himself. He who handles the bow won't stand. He who is swift of foot won't escape. He who rides the horse won't deliver himself. He who is courageous among the mighty will flee away naked on that day says the Lord. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, I have only chosen you of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all of your sins. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Will a lion roar in the thicket when he has no prey? Does a young lion cry out of his den if he is caught nothing? Can a bird fall in a trap on the earth where there is no snare set for him? Does a snare spring up from the ground when there is nothing to catch? Does the trumpet alarm sound in a city without the people being afraid? Does evil happen to a city and the Lord hasn't done it? Surely the Lord will do nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord has spoken, but who can prophesy? Proclaim in the palaces at Ashdod and in the palaces in the land of Egypt and say, assemble yourselves on the mountains of Samaria and see what unrest is in her and what oppression is among them. Indeed, they don't know to do right, says the Lord, who hoard and plunder and loot in their palaces. Therefore, the Lord says, an adversary will overrun the land, and he will pull down your strongholds, and your fortresses will be plundered. The Lord says, as the shepherd rescues out of the mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be rescued who sit in Samaria on the corner of a couch and on the silken cushions of a bed. Listen and testify against the house of Jacob, says the Lord, the God of armies. For in the day that I visit the transgressions of Israel on him, I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar will be cut off and fall to the ground. I will strike the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory will perish, and the great houses will have an end, says the Lord. Listen to this word, you cows of Bashan, who are on the mountain of Samaria, who oppress the poor, who crush the needy, who tell their husbands, bring us drinks. But the Lord has sworn by his holiness, Behold, the day shall come on you, that they shall take you away with hooks, and the last of you with fish hooks. You will go out at the breaks in the wall, everyone straight before her, and you will cast yourselves into Harmon, says the Lord. Go to Bethel and sin, to Gilgal and sin more. Bring your sacrifices every morning, your tithes every three days. Offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving of that which is leavened, and proclaim free will offerings and brag about them. For this pleases you, you children of Israel, 
says the Lord. I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and lack of bread in every town, yet you haven't returned to me, says the Lord. I also have withheld the rain from you when there were yet three months to the harvest, and I caused it to rain on one city and caused it not to rain on another city. One field was rained on, and the field where it didn't rain withered. So two or three cities staggered to one city to drink water and were not satisfied yet. You haven't returned to me, says the Lord. I struck you with blight and mildew many times in your gardens and your vineyards, and the swarming locusts have devoured your fig trees and your olive trees, yet you haven't returned to me, says the Lord. I sent plagues among you like I did Egypt. I have slain your young men with a sword and have carried away your horses. I filled your nostrils with the stench of your camp, yet... You haven't returned to me, says the Lord. I have overthrown some of you, as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a burning stick plucked out of the fire, yet you haven't returned to me, says the Lord. Therefore, I will do this to you, Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, Israel. For behold, he who forms the mountains creates the wind, declares to man what is his thought, who makes the morning darkness and treads on the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of armies, is his name. Listen to this word, which I take up for a lamentation over you, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel has fallen. She shall rise no more. She is cast down on her land. There is no one to raise her up. For the Lord says, The city that went out a thousand shall have a hundred left, and that which went out one hundred shall have ten left to the house of Israel. For the Lord says to the house of Israel, Seek me and you will live, but don't seek Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and don't pass to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Seek the Lord, and you will live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and it devour, and there be no one to quench it in Bethel. You who turn justice to wormwood and cast down righteousness to the earth, seek him who made the Pleiades and Orion, and turns the shadow of death into the morning, and makes the day dark with night, who calls for the waters of the sea, and pours them out on the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name, who brings sudden destruction on the strong, so that destruction comes on the fortress. They hate him who reproves in the gate, and they abhor him who speaks blamelessly. Therefore, Because you trample on the poor and take taxes from him of wheat, you have built houses of cut stone, but you will not dwell in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink their wine. For I know how many are your offenses and how great are your sins. You afflict the just who take a bribe and turn away the needy in courts. Therefore, a prudent person Keep silent in such a time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil that you may live. And so the Lord, the God of armies, will be with you, as you say. Hate evil, love good, and establish justice in the courts. It may be that the Lord, the God of armies, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. Therefore the Lord, the God of armies, says, Wailing will be in all the wide ways. They will say in all the streets, Alas! Alas! They will call the farmer to mourning, and those who are skillful in lamentation to wailing. In all vineyards there will be wailing, for I will pass through the middle of you, says the Lord. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord! Why do you long for the day of the Lord? It is darkness 
and not light, as if a man fled from a lion and a bear met him. Or he went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a snake bit him. Won't the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. I hate, I despise your feasts, and I can't stand your solemn assemblies. Yes, though you offer me your burnt offerings and mill offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat animals. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps, but let justice roll on like rivers and righteousness like a mighty stream. Did you bring to me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, house of Israel? Yet you carried the tent of your king and the shrine of your images, the star of your God, which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, says the Lord, whose name is the God of armies. Father God, open our ears to hear the words of your prophets. Although they were spoken to Israel centuries ago, there is still much we can learn from these words. You ask us to be true and just. Help us to heed your warnings and to walk in accordance with your word. Help us to not become full of ourselves, but to fill ourselves with you and with your truth. You are the God of new beginnings. Thank you for your mercies, which are new every morning. Amen. Well, there we have it, another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It's not always easy to understand, but remember, it's not a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie, signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.